What's up, hackers and fantasters the Shadow Brokers here back again with another digital forensic video. In today's video we learn how we can find sensitive data from digital evidence files using Bulk Extractor. Bulk Extractor is a rich feature tool that can extract useful information like credit card numbers, domain names, IP addresses, emails, phone numbers and URLs from evidence hard drives or files found during forensics investigation. It helps analyze image or malware. Also helps in cyber investigation and password cracking. It builds word lists based on information found from the evidence that can help in password cracking. Bulk Extractor is popular among other tools because of its incredible speed, multiple platform compatibility, and thoroughness. It is fast due to its multi-threaded features and it has the ability to scan any type of digital media that includes any disk, disk image, drive, directory or any other digital evidence. Bulk Extractor comes pre-installed with Kali Linux. So let's see how we can scan digital evidence using the Bulk Extractor. First start Bulk Extractor by typing Bulk Extractor hyphen H to display some commonly used parameters and options. Here we can enable scanners by using E flag. Some scanners are disabled by default. To disable an enabled scanner we can use F flag. For this tutorial, we will work with a freely available evidence file named Terry Work USB 2009 one This file can be downloaded directly from the Digital Corpora website, which allows the use of forensic evidence images for forensic research purposes. You can get the file used in this video directly from this web page. The required file is the last file on the download page and is only 32 MB in size, like Formos and Scalpel. The syntax for using Bulk Extractor is quite simple and requires that an output folder and the forensic image be specified. In this example as we mentioned, we will be extracting data from the Terry Work USB 2009 one image and saving the output to a folder named Bulk Output. So for the default scan we can use this command. This scanning process will take some time depending on enabled scanners and the size of the drive we are scanning. If we want faster scanning then we need to manually disable unnecessary scanners. Once completed, Bulk Extractor indicates that all threads have finished and provides a summary of the process and even some findings. As seen here, Bulk Extractor displays the MD5 hash, the total MB processed and even reports that three email features have been found. To view the output of and findings by Bulk Extractor, we can also display a list of directories within the terminal by typing ls-l. We can see that the bulk output folder has been created by Bulk Extractor. Now we can list the contents of our output folder by typing this command. The list has been split in two to show some of the artifacts found by Bulk Extractor. It should be noted that not all listed text files will contain data. Only the ones with numbers larger than 0 to the left of the text file names will actually contain data. The text file ccn.txt is an abbreviation for credit card numbers and will contain credit card information that may have been stolen, illegally used or stored with possible intention to commit credit card fraud. If we browse to the output folder location, we can view all extracted data within the individual text files. Viewing the telephone histogram.txt file reveals telephone numbers. The url.txt file reveals many websites and links visited. Next, see how we directly scan our pen drive without making a disk image. To do that we need to know the pen drive's disk path. So, applying fdisk-l. Here we can see our pen drive's location is slash dev slash sdb and the main partition of our pen drive is slash dev slash sdb1. This slash dev slash sdb1 is the memory storage partition. We can copy this path or just remember this. If we scan with a specific scanner then it took very little time. So we are going to show an example with the word list scanner. This scanner will generate a word list from our pen drive's documents. So the command we would run is
This command will make an output folder called driver out, and scans for word list. While this was a simple example done with a small evidence file, be sure to have a look at the many others available at digitalcorpora.org and see what bulk extractor reveals. Try downloading as many of the images as possible if your bandwidth and storage permit. This is how we can use bulk extractor in our Kali Linux for digital forensic jobs. For more digital forensic tutorials check out this playlist. If you have any questions or problems, check out our bulk extractor article link in the description. And if you have any idea for future video send me a message on Twitter. Otherwise, that's all we have for today's video. Make sure to like comment and subscribe. I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.